Hey Butterfly Beauty, so I'm here to show you this week's um, plan spread, or I should say my weekly spread. Um, so this is a week overview, so not necessarily a plan with me. Um, you know how we do it on this channel. But I would like to this time show you all the things that I use in order to make my spread this week. Uh, so we'll start the video with that. So let's take a look at all the resources or items that I use to create my spread. Okay, so to create my spread, I used handy dandy scissors, and those scissors were needed for the uh, scrap paper that I was using. When I say scrap paper, I'm talking about the um, paper pad. So I used this design and from the uh, Recollections paper pad, so I need the scissors to cut them out. I like to kind of use the same color pen if possible. Um, I will kind of change it up every now and then so I use the blue friction pin and the friction pin has become one of my favorites um, along with my sharpie pin is my other favorite and so this is a gel pin it's a clicker it's erasable and it really does do the job so I use the blue one and my other favorite other than my statler pins my statlers are also my favorite pins so I guess I have three types that are my favorite I use the blue sharpie pin uh, so this is not a sharpie marker it's the actual sharpie pin and it is a 0.3 milliliter uh, fine point so I like that so I use that and then my spread this week is Tinkerbell so Tinkerbell is the theme so we have I know it's fall but I just wasn't feeling a deep orange and brown kind of look uh, since I had more of that deeper um, look in my coffee tea time so these are the stickers that I use the other stickers that I used were from a sticker set I bought at the Dollar Tree a while back and from that I used the appointment sticker and on there's an important date sticker that I used from this particular sticker set and again this was a sticker set I got from the Dollar Tree. The Tinkerbell stickers I bought these at I want to say Walmart months ago so these stickers I've had for a while so I'm just using them and then a designing on a dime with Kimberly Davis she uses these res religious sticker pack and absolutely loved it when she put in her spread so I went to Hobby Lobby and I bought these about a month ago and I um, really enjoy these stickers so these are the religious sticker pack and again I bought these from Hobby Lobby they're from the paper studio and they're clear stickers so these are clear I have another pack that is chalkboard um, style and I love those too and then of course when you're using your um, crafting paper you need something to put it down so I use the Elmer's craft bond the repositionable glue stick so I use that and then I use three separate types of washi so I use the green polka dot washi I used the yellow washi and this came in a washi set my brother bought me uh, my brother bought me this set from we are memory makers so it has all the washi here love this um, all the these extras are in here because I put them in there and then I use my some Tinkerbell tape so as you can see we've got Tinkerbell and the fairies on this tape so that's what we loved uh, used and I absolutely love Iridessa so she's my favorite Tinkerbell so let's take a look at that actual spread alright so here's my planner and what you're seeing here is what's going to be uh, one set that I have of the Tinkerbell planner so this will be in my Etsy shop when it opens uh, this weekend on the 22nd uh, so this is a yellow band and she has bling to on her bun and here's Tinkerbell and then you have Tinkerbell as well as a uh, so this will be a set and she's here as a paper clip so I thought it was fitting just to kind of show you what it would look like I'm not going to use this band this week because of course this will be what I will uh, put in my shop because I just have one of these and this again is going to be uh, in my shop, this is a Tinkerbell planner band with the paper clip. This will be sold as a set. So let's get to it. So let me bring this down and open up my planner. So let's get to the day and look at the actual spread. So this is a spread and this is featuring the 16th 
as we can see, through the 22nd. So again, this is November uh, the 16th through the 22nd. So over here on the side, I have the another paper clip that, that just says, you're my wing girl. This will also be in my shop. Um, and this is just to keep me, uh, so I can flip easily to the month of November, the monthly view, and then see my weekly view. The one thing I will say about these stickers that I got from Walmart, this Disney stickers, they don't seem to really kind of lay down. So I'm hoping with the weight of my pages that it will help it, you know, adhere a little better. I don't know what the deal is with that, but uh, it will make it. Uh, so here is something I also took out of the uh, scrap paper and I keep calling it scrap paper. But it's not like scrap paper. It's the uh, Home Basics 180 sheets is for, um, from recollections, recollections, and you know it's the scrapbook paper. There we go, scrapbook paper. So I cut out one of the squares, and it says, "I'm uh, live your dream, be happy, believe, enjoy, fun, laugh, dream, shine bright, grow, learn, reach, uh, dream big, believe, follow your dream." So I thought this was really appropriate as I open up my Etsy shop this week, um, because again, I'm a type of girl. I'm pretty, uh, I've just kind of creature of habit so I decided to go ahead and let's go for it and jump to it so my thankful for a roof over my head this week and then uh, here is my religious sticker and we know that all things work together for good to those who love God to those who are called according to his purpose and that's Romans eight twenty eight. so this is a clear sticker so I had to actually put down a piece of the scrapbook paper so I could see it a little bit because against the white you couldn't really see it and here is Iridessa. Love her. My favorite fairy besides Tinkerbell. And so you can see here is the Tinkerbell washi. And this is where I used the white, wa uh, white, the yellow washi. Uh, here's Tinkerbell herself. And with it, I just did the yellow washi all across. And where I used the green washi was to separate the weekend. So that's where you can see we've got the weekend going on here. So I'm using the weekend banner. I have a payday sticker. The, this is where I use the important day that came from the Dollar Tree sticker set. This is the good times play. And again, this was on the same page as the previous from the scrap but paper uh, so I cut out those two squares because I like that um, this good times play happy go and it says play hard fun relax dream friends because here on Saturday we'll be celebrating uh, my birthday uh, my friend's birthday which is next week but we will be getting together this weekend she likes golf so this is why we have a golf picture here so we're going to go to top top golf and y'all I can't golf but you know it's for a good time and great laughs and I hope they have some drinks uh, so then uh, we have, this is where I use the appointment sticker, and I'm using the TV flags this week, so I didn't actually put down any pictures of Scandal or How to Get Away with Murder or Empire, and I need to catch up because I missed last week, uh, but I used the, this kind of color, it's more of a tealy blue or greeny blue maybe a seafoam green, if you will, uh, color this week to go with the rest of the actual layout and these were the ones that I got from Ladybug's design so these are the page flags so again I use the Tinkerbell tape along the bottom and on the sides so this is again the spread so let's kind of focus in a little bit for the week I like it. It's pretty cute. I know that's probably you're thinking, oh my, that's more spring-like. But, you know, you do what you do and what makes you happy when you get to that particular page in that week. Um, if you are not feeling the fall colors and you don't have to follow those rules. This is your planner and you put your information. My week seems very um, dim, which I'm a little surprised. But I'm sure when I go to work tomorrow, it'll get filled up with stuff because I'm pretty sure there is a luncheon or a meeting on Wednesday that I need to go to but I can't remember so I will definitely know and fill in the rest as the week goes in but I'm okay with a pretty lax week because I need to get ready for my shop opening this weekend so I will quit the rambling again hopefully you enjoyed so this is my week view
Okay, so bye for now.